Hey beauty babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so, so excited today because I've got such a fun video. This is a collab with my beautiful, dear, sweet friend, Carol. Carol Lago here on YouTube and Instagram. We are doing a kind of good old fashioned makeup swap, but we are also going to be testing out and trying out the products today for the first time, which is why I'm on here barefaced in all my natural glory. Now a little twist on our swap is that both Carol and I actually are on quite a bit of PR list, so uh, we agreed that we would swapping and including stuff that was extras from you know PR, so we didn't necessarily have to spend a lot of money and kind of just more like swapping PR because she's on some lists that I'm not, and, not, and I'm on some brand lists that she's not on. So we kind of did a little bit of a brand PR swap of products that either were access to us or that we just didn't need or whatever the case may be. With that, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm just really excited to get into these products. Carol did send me a cute little note, which I'm not gonna read, but I just wanted to share because she's just the sweetest and the cutest. And I didn't say it, but uh, please be sure to check out Carol's video. I will have her channel as well as her video of the products that I sent her in the description box, of course. So um, here's the box. I already took some of the stuff out um, and I'm just gonna really quickly go over the stuff that I don't think I'm gonna be able to use in today's video. So I wanna show you guys what those things are. The first thing is this, um, and I'm so actually very excited about this, but this is the e.l.f. Magnetic Mask. I have been wanting to try this mask for so long. So, so cool. I'm really excited to give that a try. Oh my goodness. Um, then I have the uh, Dermalogica Phyto Replenish Oil. I want to read a little bit more about it. Um, so I'm not going to use that yet today, but I'm really, really excited because I do love oils for my skincare. And I know Dermalogica is an amazing brand. I hear so many people raving about it. Um, and I've been dying to try it, so I'm so, so excited. And then next up is from Patchology. These are the Warm Up Perfect 10 Self Warming Hand and Cuticle Mask. That is so cool. So it's a hand mask. This is actually quite perfect because um, I don't know if you can really tell right now, but my hands are actually kind of a mess, especially my nails and cuticles. They're kind of tore up right now. They're really actually tender because I've been doing a lot of yard work with my husband. We're trying to get our, I say we, but it's mostly my husband, <laughs> get our backyard um, done. And so, and we're doing it all on our own. So it's been a lot of um, weeding. I've helped him like move pavers and stuff so we can work on our walkways. And so my hands are just, I feel like very, very tore up and very, very ugly. So this will be a nice treat for my hands. <laughs> so I, do kind of think I'm gonna try this. This is the fresh, these are little sample sizes, so not full sizes, but this is the fresh black tea firming eye serum, which I have been really wanting to try, but we all know that fresh is so expensive. The Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Essential Eye Cream. So I'm kind of excited to try that. I love eye creams too. You guys know eye creams is one of my favorite skincare type of items. Then Another thing from Fresh is their Sugar Advanced Therapy uh, Sheer Pink Little Lip Balm. That's again a little sample size. Then the Fresh Rose Morning Perfume Sample. And then the, again from Fresh Beauty, the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. Ooh. And then another little sample from Fresh, the Vitamin Nectar Vibrance Boosting Face Mask. So, ooh, sweet. Fresh has some amazing skincare products, but yeah, they are super expensive. And then this is the Mark Antony uh, Strengthening Grow Long Super Fast Miracle Treatment. And this is actually perfect too. I can't wait to try this because I, my hair's up, but I'll have it down a little bit later. I am recently got my hair done and put more blonde in it, and it's been just so very, very dry. And so anything that could kind of help with my hair, I'm all about. <laughs> all right, and then she did send me three nail polishes from OPI. This one looks super pretty. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's kind of like a fuchsia color, but looks like it shifts a little bit red or orange. Really, really pretty. This is the All Your Dreams in Vending Machines. That's really <laughs> an interesting shade name. And then this one is Samurai Breaks a Nail. <laughs> That's really funny. And then this one is Arigato from Tokyo. All right, and then lastly, another thing from Dermalogica. This is their nightly lip treatment. It says it's supposed to help firm, hydrate, and restore the lips. Reinforces skin barrier functions and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So that sounds great. It looks like this. 
and I think you just kind of press the, oh, oh, okay. So press this little thing down and something comes out, okay. Ooh, I'm so excited because this one sounds amazing. All right, so moving on, I do want to go back to that Fresh Firming Eye Serum. So I don't know if you can see that, but it comes out in a nice little gel. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because that was actually quite a bit that pumped out. When it comes to eye creams, firming is my favorite because I do get some sagging skin up here. So anything that helps with that is my friend. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do my brows first. She sent me a lot of brow products I'm super, super excited to try. So first up, she sent me um, three products from Benefit. I've got the Precisely My Brow Pencil, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Wow, I didn't realize I had so many different kinds of pencils. And then I got the Gimme Brow, which I've tried this stuff before and actually really, really like this too. Um, additionally, she sent me the, um, the Balms... Uh, <laughs> Furo ferocious oh ferocious I I think they're trying to be punny here but I, I'm messing it up <laughs> um brow pencil um in the shade dark brown I think I want to use this because I am going to be using some balm products on my eyes so we're just going to kind of keep it cohesive and then she also sent me one of the new Anastasia uh brow gels in the shade dark brown so I will also be giving this a try um, but probably at the very end of this video because you guys know I like to do any um, gel products I like to do that last after I finish all my powders and everything so that will be I will be trying Afterward, I'm gonna try to do this fairly quickly because I feel like I'm already taking up so much time Hopefully this is a decent color for me Yeah, not too bad. I'm just gonna do kind of a light run of my brows lately when I fill them in with a brow pencil I just kind of just run it in there very very lightly and then I just adjust everything when I go in there with a the gel and since the Anastasia brow gel is tinted I don't want to put too much color in here so all right my brows are done for now I think they look really really good that pencil is really quick and easy to use I like it. I think the color is actually perfect too. So we're going to go ahead and move on to eyes and I'm so excited. I actually have several things that she sent me for the eyes. I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. So let, let me just go ahead and get into it. Let me show you guys what she sent me. First off, she sent me this cute little makeup geek palette. Here's what it looks like. It's got the shades I'm Peachless, Roulette, Cocoa Bear, and Bada Bing. So she also sent me the uh, what's the tea palettes both of them from the balm cosmetics so there is the iced tea eyeshadow palette and then the hot tea eyeshadow palette and I thought it'd be really really fun to do one look on this eye using one palette and another different look on this eye using the other palette just so I can test as much as I can because I'm just that excited <laughs> and then additionally I also was sent this uh, from Eloise it's the get lit material metallic foiled liquid eyeshadow and I did already open this up because I was really really curious about it and this <sighs> looks absolutely stunning so I don't know if I might want to sneak this in a look in the look too one of the looks I'm not quite sure but it looks like this which is interesting it looks kind of like a nail polish bottle but oh my gosh it's so so beautiful um so it comes out like this so the applicator kind of looks just like the uh, St uh Stila glitter and glows oh my gosh but it's so 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 gorgeous so it's like this bronzy brown shade with gold glitter in it absolutely stunning oh so so beautiful so i might use that as well i'm not sure yet all right and just to show you guys each a palette um this is the hot tea eyeshadow palette they look absolutely adorable i love the balms uh like um style it's just always so cute um these look like little um uh, hot tea mugs super super cute um, it's definitely more of the warm tone palette considering it's the hot tea palette so it totally makes sense and what's really neat is I'm sure you guys have seen because these have been out for a little bit but it does have two different um, primers that you can use with these shadows for creating different kinds of looks so I think that's a really really cool and then this one is the uh, iced tea palette so 
surprise, surprise, it's going to be a cooler toned palette. Looks super, super pretty. Um, and now I'm not someone who super gravitates towards cooler tone shadows, but there are a few in here that just are speaking to me. This shade specifically looks stunning. It's kind of like a pinky golden color. It's so, so pretty. So, oh, uh, I, I'm excited. All right, I think I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. I'm going to go in with the iced tea palette first. I am just going to go ahead and grab this synthetic brush and go into the, um, neutral eyelid primer and kind of tap that all over my lid and see how well that works. I typically don't uh, use eyelid primers that much, but since this came with it, you know, I want to give it a try, use it with the shadows. I would imagine it would help them. Also neutralize my <laughs> dark circles a little bit. I'm going to go in first with the shade O oh Snap and just put that into my crease. Start out a little bit safe with that light brown shade. Ooh, that's really pigmented. And now I'm just gonna deepen it up a, um, quite a bit with the shade Talk of the Town, which looks like a pretty deep turquoisey color. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna place this on the outer corner and like bring it into my crease as well. I typically really hate coming on camera doing an eyeshadow look when I really don't know what I'm doing or how it's going to turn out. I mean, I guess that's really great for like doing a first impression so you guys can see, but uh, it makes me so nervous. This color is really, really pigmented. It's blending beautifully. It's applying beautifully, but I just feel like I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I kind of have an idea, but we'll see if it pulls together. <laughs> All right, now out of curiosity, I really want to try that uh, black eyelid primer. So I'm going to take this um, thin, uh, flat synthetic brush. This is the flat concealer from Stelazzi, the S500. All right, now taking a natural hair brush, it's kind of flat, like a little flat shader brush. I'm going to go into the shade The Buzz and bring that to more of the center of my lid. Oh my gosh, going full on blue look here. I never really wear blues. <laughs> That's really pretty. Now next up for kind of the inner portion of my eyelid, I want to go into the shade Kiss and Tell, which in the pan looks kind of pinky, but on the very back of the little sleeve of the palette, um, it shows that over the uh, black eyelid primer, it almost has this kind of blue or indigo purple um, sh shift to it. So I figured that should go with this look, I think, so we'll see. I'm just gonna wipe off and use that same brush that I used with the shade The Buzz. Wow, it really does have a blue kind of shift to it. That is really pretty. It is really a neat thing about this palette to have those two different bases just conveniently right inside the palette. Very, very genius, I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a, another kind of, this is like a pencil brush, I guess. It's from Morphe, it's the M506. It's like a fluffy blending pencil brush. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of the shade Talk of the Town to kind of blend a little bit more in my outer corner as well as my lower lash line. Now the only kind of, I guess, downside about this palette that I'm seeing is there's not really a cream um, highlight shade, which is fine. I guess not every palette needs that, but I don't know, I just feel like that completes a palette, I guess. But so I'm just gonna go back into that shade uh, Kiss and Tell and bring that to my brow bone and kind of blend down just to lighten this, this uh, look up a little bit. So this will be kind of interesting to see how this looks when it's not over top the black. Okay, that's really interesting. It's definitely mm, very pinky, very pinky looking. I don't think I love it for this look, but it's whatever, we're just testing it out. <laughs> I think I might want to go over it with like a setting powder or something just more a little bit more skin tone color but for right now I'll leave it wow this is definitely <laughs> out of my comfort zone I feel so so weird um, and it's gonna be even weirder because I'm gonna be doing a totally different look on this eye with the hot tea eyeshadow palette so again I'm just gonna start off with that neutral base Going back in with um, my synthetic brushes from It Cosmetics, if anybody's curious. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and go in first with the shade Hey Girl Hey. And just go ahead and bring that to the outer corners of my eyes and my crease. I'm just going to kind of stamp it in there. I want to kind of wing it out just like I did the other eye. So I want them to be somewhat similar. They're just going to have different colors. That way I don't look that crazy. <laughs> All right, now taking a soft blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Word on the Street. So it's this kind of light pink matte shade. 
I'm just gonna softly blend and diffuse that color out. Ooh, that's actually, that's really pigmented because it kind of really uh, softened that red color. Maybe I should have gone in with a smaller brush or just done that lighter shade first like I normally do with, <laughs> that's the normal process for me, but I don't know, I kind of just thought maybe I'd lighten it up afterwards, I don't know. Because I felt like when I did the brown and this, I kind of lost it once I went in with that uh, blue shade, but this actually softened that up quite a bit. I'll probably go back into it anyway, so it's totally fine. So again, just dipping back in with that one brush I was using with the black base. All right, and so with a similar kind of brush as I use as on the other eye, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Tell All, that duochrome shade, and apply that right to the center of my lid. All right, wiping that off and then going into the shade Spill the Beans, which as you can see is kind of a, a creamy golden shade. And apparently this is going to be turning a little bit green, so we shall see. Mm, definitely, in my opinion, still uh, looks and leans more gold than anything. Still really pretty though. I don't know if these are really the best colors to combo together, but I mean, here we are. I'm trying <laughs> several of them, so it is what it is. I don't know. Uh, looking like a hot mess, but this is really, really fun. So anyways, I'm gonna go back into the shade Hey Girl Hey, that red matte one, and just bring it to my outer corner, um, increase a little bit more, and then my lower lash line. Same thing as I did with the other side of my eye. All right, to kind of complete the eye looks, I went ahead and added just a uh, setting powder to my brow bone just to kind of tone uh, the look down a little bit because the hot tea palette as well didn't really have a brow bone shade so i did a little bit of that on on the blue side as well just to kind of tone down the looks and just um, give a little bit of a brow bone cleanup like i always do in all my videos um and then i went ahead and added some winged liner off camera i just felt like these looks needed a wing liner so but i do want to say that these palettes are so much fun i really enjoyed creating these two looks even though they're kind of a little bit wacky but i can't wait to play some more with these palettes and if you guys would like to see more videos with these palettes if you have a preference if you'd like to see me use another one versus the other or whatever let me know um, and i'll be sure to include them in some future videos so with that moving on to face i do have a primer this says um my favorite primer ever which i do know that it is she always uses this and she's always talking about the Der dermalogica hydra blur primer so i'm so so excited to give it a try and just a big thank you to carol for sending me this so I'm excited to see what the hype is all about. <laughs> I'm not sure how much is needed. I just squeezed out this little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put it between my fingers and then... Mmm, it smells very nice. Feels really good. I definitely feel like it has a smoothing effect. I could feel that, it, that it's... um giving that smoothing, blurring effect on my skin, you know how that feels, without feeling too silicone-y. I'm not sure if this is like a silicone primer. I'll have to look into that, because typically I don't like silicone type feeling primers, like the um, Smashbox one that, you know, is a lot of people's favorites. I don't like the way those feel. Okay, this feels really, really nice, and instantly feels like lightweight, like and it blended right into my skin really, really well. I feel like my skin looks really nice. All right, next up she also sent me this. This is the MAC Strobe Cream. And I'm not sure if this is more of a like, like a highlight cream, like a cream for highlight, or if it's something you put on like a primer before for some luminosity to your skin. I really, I'm not in the know about it. But I do wanna open it up and um, squeeze a little bit out just to see. So you can see it's kind of giving my, um, my hand a little bit of a luminosity. But I'm not sure. I don't want to just mix it with the primer I just put on just in case it might mess anything up. But it's definitely something I want to give a try um, another time. So that's something to note that I got. I definitely do love luminizing creams. Um, I don't, I'm not a fan of like cream or liquid highlighters but if I can use this before maybe with a foundation that might be really nice. Moving on, um, Carol did send me two different foundations to try and I'm really really excited I'm not quite sure which one I want to use but she sent me the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion liquid foundations so I'm gonna open that up and see what it looks like okay so it looks like this and the shade she sent me is light medium it looks like it'd be a pretty good match for me I'm gonna open it up just to see oh cool it's actually um 
like a giant doe foot. I'm kind of intrigued by this. It says a weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with natural radiant finish. Okay, so it's supposed to give you still full coverage. Oh my gosh, that actually sounds really, really amazing. But I'm also really curious about this. This is the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. Uh, I am really excited to see this. And this is the shade Light Beige, which is actually perfect. I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and that's my shade, the Light Beige. So you did perfect, Carol. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to try this as well. I don't know, I'm, oh, which one should I do? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I kind of think though, even though this is like really, really intriguing me and I have wanted to try it, um, and I know it's the perfect shade because it's the same shade that I have of their Born This Way foundation, I kind of am really gravitating towards the Wander Beauty foundation. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Now, I actually really do like, um, foundations with the doe foot applicator. I know a lot of people say they don't. How's the shade looking? I think the shade's actually pretty good too. Um, Cause a lot of people feel like, or say that it's um, just not sanitary and blah, blah, blah. I think I've talked about this before, but <laughs> every time I use a doe foot foundation, I, I think I, wow. The coverage is beautiful, what? And this really is super lightweight too. Wow, okay. Anyways, I was gonna say, I think I always repeat myself. I, am I already in love? I think I might be, and that's pretty rare for foundation. I feel like I'm pretty picky about foundations. I'm gonna put a little bit more and then bring it down here. Um, okay, hello, perfect, flawless, weightless foundation. What? This is, this is beautiful. Just look at the side by side, like, wow. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. I feel like I didn't even put that much foundation on, but the coverage, like, I'm blown away. Like, I'm, this might become a favorite foundation, I think, okay. <laughs> Love this. I'm so, so excited. All right, so moving on, uh, she actually sent me quite a few options for concealers. First concealer I wanna mention, because it is Wander Beauty as well, this is the uh, Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. This one uh, is does have two sides. You got this side, which is um, a stick concealer, which, oh my gosh, that brings me back. I haven't used a stick concealer like this since high school days that's what i use for concealer that's really all that at least that i recall that there was as options maybe it was there liquid concealer back then i don't know maybe none that i knew of, but i use stick concealer um and then so there's also illuminating liquid is like this so we have the mac 24 hour smooth wear concealer so i've got two different shades i'll probably have to mix if i use these um, the shades NW10 and NW25. So I do remember she said that um, because she got PR and her and I actually are fairly close, if not the same skin tone and usually the same exact um, shades. So these are extras. So she probably kept the shades that are her shades clearly, which would have been very similar to my shades. So she did say she was gonna send me a few different options to try to make them work. And I kind of did the same thing with her unless I actually had extras of something that I sent her. Anyway, so that's probably why she sent me the two to hopefully those would work. I'm kind of intrigued to try that, but she also sent me some um, e.l.f. concealers. These are the brand new 16 hour camo concealers. I'm kind of curious to try these as well. So she sent me a dark one that I could use for contour. All right, I swatched them on the back of my hand just to kind of see the consistency and see what I think. The uh, e.l.f. Um, one is definitely a lot more of a thicker formula. And then the MAC one is a lot more of a more liquidy kind of um, lightweight formula from what I can tell from the swatches and, and patting it out on my hand. And since this was a lot more of a lightweight um, foundation that I have on, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the MAC concealer. So I think it'll just look a little bit better. I'm just gonna go ahead and have to mix both of them because one looks like it's definitely gonna be too dark for me. The other one is for sure too light for me. So yeah, that's like, woo, super, super white. Also, this has like a, oof, um, a very intense, Oh, maybe that won't be too too dark for me but it has a um the scent is very uh paint thinner like coverage is really good though i feel like it's canceled out my dark circles really well wow 
This actually is, um, it dried down really, really beautiful and really, really lightweight. Like, I'm not getting any creasing whatsoever yet. Um, and I almost probably feel like I probably do not need to set this, but I still think I'm going to just a little bit because I just, that's what I always do. <laughs> And then really quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep and blend some of that excess with this Duo Fiber Brush. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm actually really, really excited to move on because I've got some, a couple different products for contour and bronzer. So the first one is this. This is from Makeup Geek. It is the Flawless Ever After Bronze Baroness Face Palette. So these are the shades. This actually looks really, really beautiful. Ooh, oh my gosh, the pigmentation. I'm almost afraid. <laughs> wow. These look really, really gorgeous, but I kind of think I want to um, use this another time. I really am most intrigued by this little guy from Pure Cosmetics. It is their Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark, but when I opened it, it smells so, so good like chocolate. It honestly reminds me of the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I had no idea they had a product that had like chocolate scent. It smells so good. It almost actually smells a little bit better than the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Literally, I feel like I want to eat it. But um, it's kind of speckled and really, really pretty and I'm excited to use it. So hopefully it works for me. Now, even though this is a bronzer, I do love using bronzers for my contour. I talked about this before several times on my channel. So if you're new here, I'm going to be contouring with this because that's just what I do. Hopefully it works. <laughs> okay, now that's stunning. Oh, it smells so good. It makes me want a chocolate milkshake. Mm. I know most contours are supposed to be cool toned, you know, um, and that's the whole thing. It's like, you know, it's supposed to be like shadow like, but I kind of, I realized that, you know, cool tone shadow or cool tone contours, more than anything, they almost make my face just look dirty. So that's when I started just using bronzers to contour with. And I just like the way that looks better. It just works for my skin tone a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush. She did send me two different options for blush. Well, I guess three if you count the Makeup Geek contour and blush and highlight palette. But here are the other two that she sent me. First, I want to show really quickly. I just think it's the sweetest. She said, because you said it's your fave, and this one is one of my very favorite blushes. This along with the um, Rose Duro shade from Milani. Those two blushes I love. And even better is because I, this is mine, this is the one she sent. Look at the difference between them. You can tell this one's just beat up and been used up and it's, it's covered in powder and things like that. But here is what mine looks like now. This will probably be in my next empties video. I'm almost done with this. But this is such a beautiful blush. And so now I will have a backup of it when I finish this. So I think that's really sweet. But since you guys have already seen me use this blush, countless times on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and save this one um, and then show you guys the third option, which is also from Pure Cosmetics. Um, it is the Out of the Blue Beam of Light uh, Light. Oh, it's a light up vanity blush. I wonder if it actually lights up. I'm intrigued. And he's, here it's got highlight and then blush. And it does look like this is like a little vanity that lights up, but how does it like? Oh my gosh. Okay. There's a little switch. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh. Literally a little switch here and it looks like a little vanity. That is the cutest thing. Love this. And there are two different shades, but I think I'm just going to kind of maybe just do this and tap in back and forth to get a little bit of both and see how that, I don't know how that looks. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, this smells good too. It almost has a coconutty scent. Is that my imagination? Okay, so I, it's kind of like a combo of both of the shades. Really pretty, very pigmented. I might have grabbed a little bit too much. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. I love blush. I love a lot of blush. I always tone it down just a little bit with my dual fiber brush. So before I go into the highlight, I do want to go ahead and um, set my face with some setting spray. That's usually what I like to do before I put on highlight. So I'm just going to grab this one um, from Gerard Cosmetics that I have. We're going to go into highlight now. Um, even though the blushes are different, I do think the highlight shades are the exact same. That's a good glow. 
so now that I'm done with all the powders I'm going to be using, I can go back into brow gel and we can test this Anastasia one, which I'm really, really excited about. Right, hopefully this isn't too dark for me, so I'm just going to try to wipe off as much excess as I can and then just go in lightly. Okay, so I don't think you're going to be able to see much of a difference um, on camera because the color's actually pretty pretty close to my actual hair color as well as the color that I put down, the pencil color that I put down. But I like the shape of this. It's not like too big or too small. It's a really great shape. And also, I really do love the, the regular Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It's got like one of the best holds, like hold, and I like a good stiff um, hold for a brow gel. Um, so that one and then the it Cosmetics Brow Power Palmade is, is one of my very, very favorites. I'm gonna wait till that dries a little bit more before I touch it and test it to see what it feels like. We're gonna go ahead and move on to lashes. I did get sent two pair of lashes from the brand Icona Lashes, which I do believe that Carol is an affiliate for. Um, and so she does have a discount code. So if you are interested in these lashes, I'll put her code on the screen as well as in the description box and link Icona Lashes because I have purchased a, a couple other styles from them before and they're really great lashes. But anyways, she sent me the Head Over Heels Lashes. These ones look a little bit more natural, at least in comparison to this next pair, which is the I See You Boo Lashes. These ones look very intense. I kind of think that since my look is so out there that it definitely needs a little bit more of a dramatic lash. All right, I am back. And I definitely think that these lashes suit these looks very, very well. <laughs> I've got a little up close to show you guys so you could get a better look at uh, these shadows and these lashes. Now, please do not judge. I feel like this isn't a, uh, I didn't do my very best <laughs> for these looks. I felt like I was kind of rushing. I didn't really have any plan. Um, but I think overall, if you're looking at just like the quality, it's beautiful. The shadows are beautiful. Um, also, I'm like noticing because I wanted to check my brows to see how that brow gel felt. Um, and I will say, you guys are probably noticing too, somehow I managed to get my um, left eye a lot more feathery and unruly, which I don't mind. But then the uh, my right eye brow, um, looks a lot more uniform and, you know, in place. And so <laughs> I like the way they both look, but I wish they both looked the same. <laughs> um, so if you're noticing that, yeah, I, I, I don't know when or how I managed to do that, but there it is, whatever, I'm human. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and finish off this look with some uh, lip products. Now, Carol did send me three different lip products, so I'm really, really excited. I got a gloss from Pure Cosmetics. It looks super, super pretty and like glittery. I was also sent to MAC lipstick, so she sent me the um, Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Sexy But Sweet. <laughs> A lot like me. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm so awkward. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Yummy. Um, a pink. Let's see what the other shade is. She did show me them before, but I can't remember what they are. This next one is Reverence. Okay. I like that name. Okay. This might actually be perfect. It's a little bit more of a nudie pink. So maybe we will do this. <laughs> and by we, I mean me. I don't know why I keep saying we. It's like a habit I think that YouTubers do, especially beauty, beauty YouTubers. We're like, okay, now we're just gonna blend and we're gonna apply this. Even though it's literally just just me. It's so awkward, I don't know why we do that, but it, it just kind of becomes habit. All right, and the formula looks really, really interesting. They look almost like velvet. Velvet, I don't know why I <laughs> said it like that. I'm in such a weird mood, okay. Okay, and it has a very interesting texture. Like, I could tell it's matte, but it also feels, it feels smooth, but also somewhat powdery. But not like powdery gritty, just like, I don't know how to explain it. If anybody's tried the, these, um, which I think they're kind of new to MAC, the powder, oh. Did I literally just forget? <laughs> wow, I am such a dork. It's literally in the name, and I literally just said the name, like, 30 seconds ago, and yet here I am thinking I'm genius. This feels kind of powdery, but it doesn't feel powdery. I don't know how to explain it. It's very interesting. Either way, it's a very interesting formula. It feels really comfortable though. Like, not, <laughs> wow. Like not like a dry matte. It's a very, very soft, creamy matte. 
I like it. And the color actually looks really pretty. It doesn't look too bad with uh, with this with these eye looks. I don't think. What do you think? You guys tell me. Maybe I should just go ahead and put the gloss on top. We'll see what the <laughs> the gloss looks like. Might as well go all out. I think it definitely looked better without the gloss, but it's totally okay. I'm good with it. I wanted to just try it and um I had a lot of fun today trying out these products and trying out two different looks and I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this uh, PR makeup swap and try on and me trying out and testing these products for the first time. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment letting me know your thoughts, and please do not forget to head on over to Carol's channel and watch her video, see all the products I sent her. If you are new to her channel, be sure to let her know you're heading over from my channel, and if you are new here from Carol's channel, thank you so much for coming over. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and, and please feel free to introduce yourself. I would love to say hi to you. So with all that being said, I just want to thank you so, so much for for watching and until next time much love and hugs to you bye beauty babes Mwah. i don't know why i always do that i always do this i have nothing there i just keep doing it i don't know <laughs> like um for matt <laughs> So I figure that should be an interesting uh, thing to add. But additionally, oops, I just dropped something. Because um, it also, dropping stuff, okay. Um, and so I did a little bit of that, of, <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Oh goodness, I need to breathe. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. That might be a little too light for me. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I feel like I'm, I'm all over the place and kind of a mess, but I'm, I'm gonna try my best. So, but I want to maybe try, um, I foot is falling asleep. I kind of really like that the the um if you are new to her channel be sure to let you let her <laughs> and to be la la la, la.